but just how good, difficult, and fun are these obby games on Roblox? Well, today, I came across some games that offer great challenges, unique level design, and games that I think you guys should try if you're getting into obbies. And the first game we have is called Juice's Tower of Hell. A game developed by Roblox Group Juice's Tower of Hell, it is a tower-styled obby game where your objective is to you journey your way up to challenging levels, and I would say this game is great for beginners or anyone getting into obbying. Alright, so we're here in Juice's Tower of Hell. And guys, I have played this game in the past before, literally on my channel. I have beaten beginner towers, and also, uh, I haven't beaten this intermediate tower yet, so I might as well just do that. Let's just go. And oh my goodness, I actually remember this level. It, it's just some, like, next level stuff, dude. This level is actually just so annoying, bro. I, I do not like this level. Especially, like, this one jump, right? There is this one jump. It's not like this one blue level. You guys will see what I mean. But you guys will see. Let me just fast forward here. Alrighty, and here we go. Let me just jump here casually. And here's actually where the hard jump begins. I'm pretty sure where this jump is kind of like those uh, long jumps or like high jumps. I forgot what they're called. Really? Are you? Yeah, let me just restart this thing real quick. Okay, yeah, that is fine. You know what? That is fine. Let's just go back up here. And okay, chat, we are back here. Yeah, um, with this whole entire jump, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to, like, maybe go on the very edge and then try to, like, jump up like so. But this jump is actually pretty tricky. I don't even know how you're supposed to, like, do this jump properly. Let's just jump! Oh my goodness, we actually made it! Okay, that is really good. So let's try to proceed to this area. This area is kind of tricky. You're supposed to, like, jump the other way as this thing is moving, right? Because this is very fast. Let's just go. Okay, and I'm pretty sure we just jump up here. Great. These things should be moving. We're like, uh, we should be doing that! Oh my Let's, uh, let's go up here again. Alright, we are here now. This is just a wraparound, easy, simple wraparound. And guys, we actually might beat this tower today. I'm not even gonna troll. Wait, what is this thing here? Do we have to guess, like, which one falls off, which one doesn't? Can we just, like, do this thing here? Yeah, we can. Look. We just use our, uh, simple game knowledge from, like, ten years ago to, uh, figure it out. A few moments later. And okay, let's just walk over here, jump like so. We don't want to mess up any of our jumps. And okay, this should be the last level. Guys, we're on the last level right now. Guys, my character kind of blends in because I'm black, right? This thing looks like it's a little bit thicker, so it's a little bit more manageable, I guess. So, let's just go here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Bro. Jump! Let's go! I actually can't believe I actually beat this level, dude. I'm actually so happy for myself. So that was Juice's Tower of Hell. My experience playing was normal. It was a good challenge. And as far as the difficulty level goes, it really depends on the tower you choose from. The visuals and audios were good, I love the simple stud looking design, and the music was there. So if I had to rate this game, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. So our next game is called Dox's Obby Challenges. A game developed by Roblox or DLD Studios, it is an experimental obby game where the objective is to reach the end of various obbies. And alrighty boys, we are here in the Dox's Obby Challenges. Looks like we currently have 0 gems, 0 sessions. And okay, to my knowledge, this game is kind of similar to like a tower game. Or I guess you pick like the tower to collect these green things, which are like gems, right? I'm guessing these levels are pretty easy at the moment. Just a little bit of wraparounds, nothing too special, nothing too fancy. Let's collect that. Love how the level looks. It's pretty simple. You can actually see all the studs in the game and everything. And it's very, uh, it's very easy to spot out how far you can jump. Let me just speedrun all these levels like right now. There we go. We got all these 20 gems over here, which is very nice. But here's the thing, this is what I'm actually thinking about. I'm pretty sure in this level it says over here 20 sector gems, but then also 10 secret gems. I think I actually have a theory where the gems could be. 
He might be inside the levels, you know what I'm saying? Like, he might be able to, like, go inside one of these walls here, try to get one of the secret gems, if that makes sense. Aww. I actually noticed something. There was actually, like, this one, uh, crevice sliver thingy right over there, entrance way, I, I don't know what you call it. Looks like you actually can go through, like, this wall here, and, uh, I think that might be a gem right there. Nice, 21 gems. Later. Oh, I see something. I saw something. Gotcha. Nice. Oh, God, there might be one, like, right here. Oh, I see one. Just go like this, and then you hug the wall like so. And okay, tight little maze area, that is fine. Perfect. Let's just jump down over here, and then get this gem. But okay, how do you get inside this one area? I'm guessing you have to, like, maybe go through the wall or something like that. Because here's the thing. I can see a gem right over there. There's no way you're supposed to, like, E-dance too to get that wall. This wall is probably too thick, right? Like, there has to be, like, an entrance way you can go on to. Oh, I see it! I actually see something! Oh! Wait, where are we? Let's just jump like so, right? Oh, what are these wall wraps? These might be pretty hard jumps, tricky jumps for me. But for some people, it might be just like the everyday type stuff, you know what I'm saying? It might be easy for them. Oh my goodness. Let's try to make our foots kind of like go off this edge a little bit. Jump like so! Oh my goodness. Jump here! Oh my! Okay, yes, we're able to get that one uh, gem over here. Bro, this game actually has so many good secrets. Oh, that jump is hard. Oh, never mind. It's actually kind of easy. I'm just trash at this game! No! Oh, I actually did it! Please do not mess up this jump, come on. Nice! But okay, how do I get these other four gems that are scattered around the map? Like, they're probably somewhere like here, right? There's like something down there, but how do I get to that area? One eternity later. On God, there's something behind the side. I'm calling it right now. Hello there. I knew it. Oh my goodness, this game is so good at these secrets. I'm not gonna lie. Let's just uh, keep jumping here. Okay, so after you get here... Oh my goodness, I almost did it. I almost did it. Okay, that, that's actually a really good to try. Good attempt. Here we go. So that was Dox's Obby Challenges. I'll say this is a very unique experience. I really like the gem collecting idea. The difficulty level was pretty normal. However, I do assume that it just gets harder from here. The visuals and audios were also amazing. I really like the look of the game. If I had to rate this game, I would give it an easy 9 out of 10. So our next game is called Pancakes' Wall Hop Difficulty Chart. A game developed by Roblox Group Can Pan Studios, and it is an obby game that challenges your wall hopping skills. And okay guys, we are here in the game right now. I do know what wall hopping is about. It's about like, uh, flicking your character or something like that. But okay, let's just go. Oh my goodness. There we go. This one's a little bit more trickier, because if you fall down, you have to, uh, you have to die, right? And okay, I can see the game being a little bit trickier now. Also, dude, these guys are so far ahead into this game. You have to have a pretty high sensitivity for this game as well, I'm pretty sure, in order to, like, wall hop effectively. I mean, you don't have to have them, but I think it's recommended to have, like, a pretty high sense. Oh, we gotta hit this thing two times in a row. There we go. Oh my goodness, boys. I think I'm actually doing it. There's actually a hidden wall there. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay. What? All right, nice. It's probably just like some sort of ladder here. Yeah.
you know, oh my goodness, my hands are a little bit shaky. They're shaky, but that's okay, because it made it to this orange level. Okay. Nice. Can we just uh, jump right there? Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> My boy! No, I hit that. <laughs> I hit that. What? No, I hit that. I hit that too. I hit that too. <laughs> Okay, cool. Cool. Alright, guys, we're on difficult. I'm gonna end it there. This game is just way too hard for me. My hands hurt, my wrist hurts. Dude, I'm actually just done here. So that was Pancakes' as wall hop difficulty chart. With my experience playing, it was kind of easy getting back into wall hopping, but as the game progressed, it kind of exposed how bad I actually am. What? The game was pretty difficult. The beginning parts were easy, but the medium parts were actually pretty hard for me. So overall, if I had to rate this game, I would just give it a 7 out of 10. So our last game we have is none other than Tower of Hell. I don't think this game really needs an introduction, but it is developed by Roblox or Y Exceptional Studios, and it is an obby game. And oh my goodness guys, we're in Tower of Hell. I haven't played this game in a hot minute. I'm pretty sure all these things right over here are all new. Like people, this is the hardest obby game on Roblox. And you can go even harder with these pro towers over here, so let's do that. Let me just speedrun this thing, bro. I don't even want to do any commentation. Who in the world added no grab? Bro, are you kidding me right now? <gasps> so yeah, that was Tower of Hell. Very simple, yet fun to play. Let me just cut to the chase and give this game a rating of an 8 out of 10.